Brooke! Jules! <laughs> she looks scared. I'm not scared. What have you been up to besides Brad and school and all of that? Um, I've been writing a ton of music. Really? Um, yeah, and I've been taking a lot of new songs to some producers and I'm trying to drop one song a month to start getting music out consistently. Oh my gosh, I'm cool. really enjoying it. Have you dropped anything yet or are you gonna start doing that? I've just put out an EP, which I'm so, you she guys should go stream an EP. it. What's new with you? I uh, just dropped season one of Side Hustle last Friday. Woo! Season one is done. <laughs> Yeah, I know, 26 episodes of it, so I was like, I'm ready for a break. Nickelodeon and Brad, I mean, obviously, like, don't make any comparisons, but were there any, like, differences? Like, was a it kind ton, of the same? actually. Really? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a different set because this is more, this that's multicam. Nickelodeon, oh, okay. it's, it's a sitcom, multicam, laugh tracks, like, very Nickelodeon. Yeah. So going from Brad, which can sometimes be a little bit more dramatic right. for me, like, I'm very, my character is very, like, she likes the drama, she likes to run out of the scene, like, and then Lex, my character on Side Hustle, is very peppy and smiley and giggly, and yeah. it's definitely two very different characters and very different sets, and it, it was, I really like both of them. Like, the balance of both of them yeah. is something that I really like, too. I she knows how to drive! <laughs> Learning in admit, LA is so hard, I'm though. a bad driver. Are you? People are like, oh, I'm a good driver, when they're not. Yeah, I can but you'll admit. admit. I'm not great. So my first driver's test, I failed it. Um, and I understand why I failed it. Okay. It wasn't my it wasn't my best moment as a human being. Anyway, um, how was your driver's test? Mine was good. It was it was very normal. Like I just kinda got in the car, we drove around for twenty minutes. Nice. And then that he was like just passed and I was like, cool. We are in juniors. Crazy. Crazy. We've been in here so many times. I know. I always think of all the scenes in here. The one that I always think about is when we were all had our hands in like this and we couldn't stop laughing because we were all like this. Do you remember? It was like that big table yes, in here. Yes, with the and bracelets. It was, like, yes, and then, yeah. like Kayla was like leaving or something. Mm -hmm. I don't, and we all had to like put our hands in. Mm -hmm. I always remember that scene. I kind of just wanted to let Haley like do her own thing. I didn't want to intrude or anything. I wanted to like, this is your show now. Like it's not mine. You don't have to live in my Aww. shadow. So Passing I, like, down the gauntlet. Kind of st stayed away from yeah. it a little bit. Let her have like her own friends and all of that. And honestly, what's been crazy is like, Chicken Girls brought me like a lot of friends when I first moved to LA. Like th that was my whole friend group. And I was like, I really hope Haley gets that when she does, when she does Chicken Girls. And sure enough, like Brad did bring her like a ton of new friends that like she has stayed with her so far. And I'm, I'm excited for that. You are so right. I mean, I've, that's like one of the main reasons I'm so happy that I did work on Chicken Girls. I agree fully. I think it was such an important experience for me to have and, yeah. um, just introduce Regardless us of to a wherever lot of we all end up, I think, I mean, knowing you, like Riley and Pilot, yeah. um, you guys are some of my closest friends, and right. I feel like that's. If, and if, when I started, I I grew up in LA, and so most of my friends were kind of from school. And weirdly enough, I think when we first started, though we did spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. I think we've kind of grown closer as like the years have gone on right, later on. Right. No, I um, agree a thousand percent. Yeah. So I, I it's been a great way to kind of bond with other people and also just get to know people that have similar lives yeah. to you. Yeah. You know. Yes. Um, I think going to public school or going to homeschool, you're either around people with drastically different situations that you've yep. got yep. or no situations that exactly. you're in. And so it's just nice and to, to see meet people that have the same interests as you and exactly. the same goal in life is, is Exactly. Cool. Okay, so how has being on Chicken Girls helped you with acting in general? Oh, so, so much. I mean, it was like my first ever acting yeah. role as like a different character. Like I always played myself when I did stuff so looking at the script I didn't even know how to read it like it was like a crazy experience very foreign to me and also like I grew up on YouTube looking at the camera like I was always engaged with the camera like that was who you were talking to not I mean you could talk to other people but like that was like your main goal and focus was the camera so ignoring the cameras was also like a really weird thing for me like to pretend they're not there and the lights and everything I remember before I did Brat um, I went to the Girl Meets World set on, which is crazy now that I'm on the Nickelodeon show because I kind of like them now, which is crazy, but I remember being there and I remember seeing all the lights and the cameras and stuff and I'm like, how do they ignore this? Like, that's crazy, it's so distracting. And Brat also like definitely helped me like get used to that kind of aspect of filming. 
Without a doubt. I mean, I any acting experience that I had had before we started Chicken Girls was just theater, you know? Yeah. I'd like done a ton of theater training, like, just growing up, always right. in a community theater environment. And it's like the polar opposite of film right, acting. Right, right. So Chicken Girls was also my first experience doing anything with film. And I mean, now I've done a couple other different little like productions here and there, yeah. but I feel like it really has helped so much, and I feel like it's been such a great learning experience for right. everybody. Because yes, we all started it involved. so young. Yeah, you know? I, yes. Like even Riley, Mads, I think even Dylan, or. Yeah, it was like, like nobody. All, all there they were, were all many green, people yeah. that started the show with a lot of other film experience. Yeah. It was definitely. We all d definitely grew up and learned together. Completely, yeah. Oh my God. Haven't yet. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to know. Do you have the answer? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I still definitely struggle with motivation in terms of like getting schoolwork done on time. Yeah. And, and balancing it's everything, so it's impossible, you know? But um, I've, de it, I've definitely learned a lot from having these weird experiences, yeah, trying yeah. to balance both of them. Almost everybody on set was doing homeschooling. Right. And I was one of the only kids that was actually commuting from actual mm -hmm. school. I remember my that. junior year I ended up that ended up being great because my school is a lot more flexible in terms of kids acting um, but my sophomore year was a nightmare I mean I was going to school an hour away from set I would drive like 45 minutes to get to school every day because we yeah. had just moved um, I would be there for two classes I would have to come all the way to set, which would take forever, and then I would be here until like 9 p.m., and then I would go home, try and get work done, and then repeat it all the next day. That is crazy. Oh I'm so Please. excited. <laughs> if I don't have summer right now, I'm going to die. I just want to go to the beach. I, I literally just went to the beach yesterday. Stop, stop. Why did everyone go to the beach yesterday? I know there were so many people <laughs> at the beach. I know like four different people that went to the beach and somebody asked me to go to the beach and I was like, this is a joke. Like I want to go to the beach so bad and instead I'm sitting doing my 11 a day assignments. I know, but so soon, so soon. <laughs> so soon, we have to go to, go to the, the beach. beach. So down, Please. Riley and Pilot, you want to go to the beach? I'm so down. Okay, we're waiting. I'll right, drive. Right after I drive. So like, what are your plans with like college or just school in general right so now? So I'm moving to San Francisco in the fall oh to go my to college. Goodness. I'm getting an apartment with some people that I met. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm going as a music major. I'm a big believer in manifesting things so for yourself. Yep. So, um, you know, I say I'm going to make it. That's my only option. Yep. But in the back of my head, I'm not too worried about mm -hmm. any alternatives because yeah. um, I I'm mean, so glad that you're majoring in that because that's something that you. I can just tell you're very passionate about. Guys, Brooke is a phenomenal writer and a singer, like uh, amazing. And I'm really thank glad you. that you're going to go to college to pursue that. Like that's, oh, I'm thank really you. glad. Dude, you are so talented as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank um, you. Yes. Do you have any plans for the next few years? Um, you know, right now I'm just kind of living in the moment. I can't really think about the next three years. I've been, I just graduated high school. I've been homeschooled since third grade, so I kind of got to go on my own pace. I did this curriculum where I can get, um, go on my own pace and just kind of get all of my courses done when I need them done. So I used to do five hours on set every Monday and then through, oh, actually five hours every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on set, wow. I think. That might be wrong. Um, but it was like a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot with Brat. It was a lot with Chicken. No, a lot with Brat and a lot with Chicken Girls. It was a lot with Brat. It was a lot with Nickelodeon. Like I, it was a lot to balance. But I got it done. So right now I'm just like that was probably a month ago when I graduated. Right, a month ago. And for right now I'm just like do not talk about school. I need a break from it. I just like to I finish the season. That. that was my big goal was just finish the season of Nickelodeon and then I'll start focusing on music or I'll focus on school or I'll focus I'll figure out what yeah. I want to focus on but I was like really just putting 100% of all my effort into and Blurry. honestly, I think the fact that you've graduated early too, mm -hmm. um, if you ever did want to like consider going to college yeah. or getting your undergrad or anything like that, you have time to do that later, right. you know? Yeah. Like right now, like you've worked hard to graduate early. I mean, clearly that's a ton of work. Right. People don't understand homeschooling is very difficult. It is. People make it seem like it's People very easy. People make it seem like it's, it's easy because you can wake up and do it from your own bed. But, but you have to do it. You need to have the discipline to do it. Yeah. And that's something I think a lot more people will understand this year after Zoom right. and remote learning. Yeah. But um, yeah, you have time. Enjoy life. Do things you're passionate about. And you can decide if you want to do that later. Yeah. You know? Queen, so good to see you. And so I'm so excited for our beach trip. Me too. I'm so excited. I hope you don't die while you do school. Thanks so much. I hope you don't <laughs> die while you're living life. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's a goal of mine to not die. Yeah, same. <laughs> Something in common. <laughs>